The world is surrounded by garbage, much of it old bits of rocket or disused satellites, or the debris caused by junk colliding. It's a problem we ignore at our peril, according to the team at Surrey Space Centre. They're preparing for the launch of Remove Debris, a testbed of low-cost methods of picking up litter in space, including simple techniques like grabbing it with a harpoon or a fishing net. Since the dawn of the space age, we've been launching things into space, and um, a lot of it hasn't come back down, so it's accumulating in space. So the aim of our mission, Remove Debris, is to actually go up there and uh, test something called active debris removal. It's the concept of testing technologies such as a net or a harpoon to try and capture some of this space junk and bring it back down to Earth. Remove Debris will deploy its own artificial space junk, the so-called CubeSat, and then try to recover it in a net. The target will also test our ability to harpoon pieces of junk and then reel them in. All space junk will eventually return to Earth, but it can take centuries for gravity to do its work. A drag sail fitted to all new satellites could speed up that process. The project will also test a low-cost radar system, essential to navigate towards orbiting space garbage. Solutions that could help keep satellites safe and the services they provide. I think people don't realise how much people use satellites um, for your mobile phones, your internet, uh, all your communications, your GPS, financial transactions, weather monitoring, earth observation, disaster monitoring, virtually everything you can think of um, uses a satellite in some form these days. And these are services that are at risk in the future if we don't take this issue of uh, space sustainability seriously. Remove Debris is due for launch in January next year. <laughs>